distal femur physial fracture in children. 60% physial arrest following physial injuries in the distal femur. The rate is higher in cases where the initial fracture is displaced. If you think of MCL, LCL sprain in young patient, then consider a growth plate injury of the distal femur. The Thurston Holland fragment is a spike of metaphyseal bone in Salter II distal femur fracture. If the metaphyseal fragment is large, then fix it with screws across the fracture only. The screws will be parallel to the physis. If there is a small metaphyseal fragment or Salter I fracture, you will do close reduction and percutaneous spinning with smooth K wires. A nine years old patient with injury of the knee, tenderness over the medial aspect of the knee, and the stress exam will show instability. X-ray does not show any abnormality. In the past, they used to get stress views X-rays. Nowadays, we don't do that. We get an MRI and the treatment will be a close reduction and the smooth pin fixation percutaneously. Get MRI or CT scan for a non-displaced fracture if there is a clinical suspicion of growth plate injury. So the distal femur grows at a rate of 9 mm per year. Epiphysis of the distal femur is the first one to ossify and the last one to fuse. It contributes to 70% of the growth of the femur and 37% of the growth of the lower extremity. Girls finish the growth at the age of 14 and boys finish the growth at the age of 16. These are different scenarios for the growth arrest and how it can be handled. If the growth arrest is central, then there is a leg length discrepancy. A 12 years old patient with a displaced distal femur fracture, the estimated leg length discrepancy is 2 cm. If there is a total arrest of the physis of the femur. If the growth arrest is peripheral, then an angular deformity may develop. A young patient with a distal femur fracture involving the growth plate was treated by surgery. The patient has progressive knock knee deformity because the patient developed peripheral growth arrest. And if you find that the growth arrest is less than 50%, then you will do resection of the peripheral bridge with interposition of fat. The 13 years old male patient with Salter 4 fracture has partial growth arrest. The remaining three years for growth will give us three centimeter of shortening. And if the partial growth arrest is about 40%, then you will remove that part. If it is more than 50%, then you will do bilateral distal femur epiphysiodesis. 13 years old boy, one centimeter shorter after an injury to the distal femur nine months ago and no angular deformity, you will do bilateral distal femur epiphysiodesis. Shortening will be insignificant if the time of injury occurs within two years of a skeletal maturity. This is Salter Harris classification types for fracture of the distal femur. One must be familiar with these types. Salter II fracture is the most common type of distal femur physial fracture in children. In Salter II fracture, a portion of the metaphysis stays with the epiphysis. The physis in this portion is not injured and it will continue to grow normally. The portion of the physis that is separated, for example, the medial part, is damaged and may expect growth arrest. 
and in the future, that medial growth arrest will result in varus deformity or genoverum. Salter II fracture of the distal femur is an independent risk factor for the need of additional surgery or treatment associated with it. The major zones of the physis begins at the epiphysis, the terminal layer, the proliferative layer, and the hypertrophy. The zone of hypertrophy is the weakest part of the physis, and usually fractures of the physis occur in this zone. However, in distal femur physial fracture, the fracture propagates through multiple layers of the growth plate, not just the zone of hypertrophy. New bone is generated and the length is added at the metaphyseal side of the physis. A premature growth arrest will affect the metaphyseal part of the bone, not the epiphyseal part of the bone. In this fracture pattern, where does the growth arrest usually occur? In the medial side, metaphyseal side of the physis. Which portion of the bone most likely to stop growing? At the medial side, metaphyseal side of the physis, if the spike of the metaphysis is on the lateral side. The portion of the metaphysis attached to the physis will continue growing and the patient can get various deformity later on. Genovalgum occurs if the metaphyseal fragment is medial and the lateral portion of the physis is damaged. The odds of receiving further surgery with a distal femur physial fracture was 8.3 times more likely for immature children. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.